Hey everyone, Shaber1000 here. We're back out here for the second day at Flying Eagle Preserve. Actually, night. Like I said, Monkey went to go visit her mom, so I went in and put some more movies on the car just in case we were pinned down by the rain again. It isn't raining yet. It rained a little bit earlier, but we're going to have a fire. I did bring us all, but okay. The headlights went out on the car. <laughs> so, anyway, it's kind of funny. Um, something she got for me. So, alright guys. <laughs> Let's get into this camping trip. So, on the way back from visiting Monkey's mom... She said, you know, she said, well, I got to see mom on the way back. You want me to get you one of those, um, one of those little tanks? Because this one's about empty. I said, yeah, get the smaller one if they got them. Well, she messaged me and said, well, they got some big ones. And I said, that's fine. <laughs> this is what she comes back with. <laughs> uh, for those, <laughs> for those of you... <laughs> Jesus, that don't know. Oh, we saw two deer on the wind right in this campsite. Not just campgrounds, campsite. See the the top? See the threads around there and right there? See the difference? <laughs> nope. Okay, so I needed one of these anyway. Uh, for my torch um, they also work on which we do have her dad had a uh, well we got it now a, um, a lantern that takes one of these and they also do make some bigger stoves that will take this but not that one thank you monk she's waiting on me to build a fire all right, let me get my tripod. Let's build a fire. <laughs> All right. Second verse, same as the first. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. This campsite's cursed. We'll talk about that later. Now, I have no proof of that, but I'm definitely saying it's cursed. I want. Yep. Really? <laughs> I'm telling you, this place is cursed. Oh my God. There Almost you go. cut my yin yang off and <laughs> with the chainsaw. Granted, it was a little chainsaw. But that don't mean. Never mind. Alright, we got some bamboo here. Mon Monkey found some bamboo earlier. Yeah. <coughs> well, today, this morning, this afternoon, whatever. Didn't you, Monk? Yeah. Alright, well, we got our fire going. So I guess it's going to be story time again, isn't it? Yeah. We'll just kind of try to go over everything. The many reasons why I feel this place is cursed. Oh, you know what I should have did? What? I should have used a piece of this and whittled you a flute. Yeah. I'm serious. I can do that. <clears throat> Come on. Really? All right, 
guys. Fire is started. Once it gets going, we'll have story time. That's an airboat you hear. There's a creek down there. There's like a bridge they gotta go over. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna tend to this and I'll be back with you. Okay, there's our supper. Got some ham fat. <laughs> and some yeah. leftover kibasi. Monkey cut the ham off, that's why it's. But. I'm in a hurry. It'll. We'll eat it. And I've got some water over there boiling right now for some of this stuff, so. Alright. We're gonna eat, and I'll be back with you. Maybe we'll tell a story. What do you think, Monk? Sure, we can tell uh, a story, fine. We'll tell a story about why <laughs> this place is cursed. <laughs> to me, anyway. You want some water for you? Here. Right. Uh, this thing's pretty old. That's oh, a pioneer. Uh, I was telling Monk earlier, I said, yeah, that's probably from early 80s, maybe mid 80s. She said, yeah, that's about right. I'm like, how do you know? She said that her aunt and uncle bought that for her dad, brand new. And she said it was in the 80s. So that's pretty cool. So that's something we'll we'll clean up and I wouldn't call it a restore, but we'll clean it up. That's pretty cool. Focus. All right. Yeah, alright. Well story time, then we're gonna have movie time. Well, me and monkey are, but I can't show you guys because of copyrights, but yeah. That's uh pretty neat. I may have to lower it down a little bit. We'll see.
Story time. I believe this place is cursed. Now, I say I believe because it's supposed to be haunted. I have no proof or I can't prove it or disprove it. As far as the curse goes, I feel like it's cursed to me. Because yesterday on our way out here, yeah, it was on the way out, wasn't it? I said, we forgot the wood. She's like, oh no, you wanna go back? I'm like, no, it's, you know, going to rain, it's getting dark, it's pushing four o'clock. Let's just go out. I'll just cut some up. Forgot my saws. So, forgot the wood, forgot the saw. No big deal, you always forget something. I don't hardly ever forget anything. So we get out here, open up the screen on my camera, memory card light blinking. I knew immediately I left it in my computer. At home. <laughs> so... She's like, oh no, now what? So I had an extra one, thank goodness. So we get out here and the instant up screen house tent thing is, is it's, no. It gave me fits, so I didn't even film it. <coughs> I was I knew I was gonna have issues with that. All right, <laughs> what else happened? Mm, it rained. Yeah, it, it well, you know, I mean, so the stove not working right. It's not atomizing the fuel. It's just squirting a steady shot of fuel out. Okay, so hang on. So anyway, the stove wasn't atomizing, so we tried to take it apart. You know, if you saw the video. So I didn't take it clear apart, but I don't know if the nozzle in there's, I'm not sure what's going on with that, but, so, I was like, man, so, I did have, you know, I did have a machete, I got, a, I got like two or, three, well, actually, I've got three axes, one's a little one, and then got one that Brian and Marla sent me, and then I got another one that came with my machete, so I was like, well, I'll just use my machete. And chop up some wood so we got a fire going and uh, so I'm thinking well we'll just we'll just cook on the fire and then you know monkeys like hey you know you, you got your little stove in your backpack I'm like oh yeah cool get it out and it is <laughs> almost empty I think there might be enough to make her a cup of coffee in the morning but it was almost empty so um, of course that little thing just does not heat up a cast iron stove or a cast iron skillet very well so um yeah i mean our food got cooked that was no problem but it was just you know it took a lot longer and it was late and so and, and then just losing it losing everything you set something down it's gone we couldn't find nothing so um so we get to watching our movie couldn't get get the thing set up right finally we got it set up right and then it was fine for a while so then when i closed the back down you know so she wouldn't get cold and Bruno wouldn't get cold so i could watch something so um we let's see how, how what did we do first a thing across yeah yeah we did the thing across and and uh had Bruno's mat that he lays on it, it keeps him cool in the summer and it's okay but you know the color was off you know on the movies because the mats blue mm -hmm. <laughs> but that, that that was tolerable and then it was just like man it just it, it just wasn't right so I stuck it down in here and that was fine until it got hot and it shut off and then my little plug-in over there that my inverter is made to where if it drops below a certain volt it'll shut off so you don't run your battery down i thought that's what was going on well found out tonight it wasn't there's a spring inside there so i need a new end or i might have a heavier spring to put in there so it's starting to where it doesn't want to hold the positive pin out up against what it's supposed to in the socket right so you gotta so every once in a while it shuts off and you gotta start it up again that happened i don't know how many times last night huh. 
Yeah. And then, you know, I, I had to go poop. <laughs> so, but it rained all night long, pretty much all morning. So, we get home this morning because she, or, well, this afternoon, early afternoon, she wanted to go see her mom. So, I said, well, I'll just go put some more movies on this card, you know, and uh, in case it rained again, we're stuck in this truck. We watch movies, no problem. And my knee just, well, it started hurting, actually, right before we got home, you know. And now I'm limping around. My knees hurt. I don't know what I did to it. I didn't like twist it or anything. It just it just started hurting, and now it's gotten worse. So, so tonight, you know, uh, I showed you the thing. You know, I ordered some propane, and of course they delivered the wrong stuff. <laughs> some like. Oh man, that's all right. I'll just I'll build a fire, you know. So you know, got the fire going and everything, and finally got supper cooked. <laughs> but so I, I built another little fire over in, in the in the grill thing to to boil the water, and it just couldn't get hot enough because we got this real thick pan pot. And so finally, after our meat got done, oh, that was another thing to me. <laughs> she got off. Off the ham, all fat and skin. <laughs> so I'm trying to render that down the best I can. I mean, without burning it. I mean, it's at a board, just you know, it's pretty much fat. <laughs> so I guess we're not eating healthy tonight. So, all right. So finally, I took the pot off, off of the 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 grill fire and put it on the regular fire and that took forever to heat up didn't it to get yeah. to boiling so mm -hmm. we'd have our macaroni and cheese finally got it let's see what else happened hmm. Hon? I don't know I think that's about it strange it's full moon too you guys saw that so <laughs> well, we've heard a couple noises Joel, that was, I seen him. He was an armadillo. Yeah. I think last night the door sound we was hearing out. <clears throat> show you in the morning when we leave. I'll show you the other campground. I don't, like I said, I didn't hear anybody up there. I don't know if there's somebody up there. But the only thing I can figure, I figure maybe somebody was up in the other campground and going down. I think we might have been hearing the door of the porter potty closing. Maybe. It's yeah. not real far, so that could have been it. Mm -hmm. So I was going to do like a ghost hunt type thing tonight but somebody's down at the gate blaring music and you can hear them down there and stuff so I don't want that coming over you know onto my mic when I'm trying to mm -hmm. you know do something like that so uh, so that might be an out we'll just have to see what my leg does <laughs> Jesus that was one thing after another oh her, her thing she couldn't find her damn her blood thing yeah for her insulin her tester couldn't find it so she had to use her mom's today finally she did find it after we got out here i just couldn't find nothing tonight. no mm -mm. it's not raining though clear skies yeah but they're cold so that's why the car's running um so i thought i'd let them warm up for we watched a movie so one thing though, this car holds the heat, don't it? Oh yeah. I turned the heater on last night for ten minutes. It was sweating us out, and then an hour later, I was like, I wanted my fan. I forgot it last night, mm -hmm. yesterday. Forgot it, and so I brought it tonight. But it got hot last night. I had to keep opening the doors, and I mean, it wasn't hot outside. It got down in the low fifties, didn't it? Yeah, it was cold. Well, to her it was cold, but... He was sweating. <laughs> I, I was... I was sweating. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so, you know, just like one thing... And I ask her, I never forget anything, do I? Nope. I mean, once in a blue moon, I'll forget something, but normally Not I don't. I mean, you always forget something when you're camping, but... I mean, I normally don't forget anything because 
you know, in fact, she always jokes with me, I bring too much stuff. Yep. So, and for me to forget the fan, the saws, the wood, my memory card, you know, <laughs> all in one go. Yeah. Jesus. So, is the place cursed? Can't prove it. But I'll bet you can't disprove it. But it seems like a curse to me. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Alright, so that's my story time. <laughs> hey, Mike, what do you know about this place? <laughs> did weird things happen to you and your... Though, we did get to hear the coyotes uh -huh. a few times. Uh, when we was pulling in, about 15, 20 feet from our, where this truck is sitting now, when we pulled in tonight, we saw two deer. One was a little farther than the other, but it ran across, and then another one ran across. And I saw that armadillo, and we got to hear the coyotes, and we got to hear the owls. So, yep. But other than that, well, you know, we're we're not hungry, so that's good. No, we're not hungry. Come on, hun. She's. I'm not moving. She's doing it. Yeah, it's me. So, well, please stop. That's why I had to stop a minute ago. Bruno was trying to get through the. You know, it's just like it's strange. But Bruno loves it out here. Now back at um, the Oak, at Oak Hammock, my favorite one. Um, well, she likes it too, but her favorite's the river. But my favorite one's Oak Hammock. Um, he don't like it there. And he gets out of the truck. He'll go get out of the truck, go to the bathroom, whatever, hang out for a few minutes. But then, then he's either back in the truck or in the tent. He don't like it over there. Mm -mm. Over here, he loves it. <laughs> Cause we let him roam because no one's here you know so we let him roam around here he don't go far and uh so he loves it out here but. all right guys so that's my story time i'm gonna watch a movie and i'll be back with you guys here in a little bit one other thing you know i start the fire you know with a spark because you know just because it's fun but i went to light a cigarette <laughs> flint gone half half a lighter full flint gone i was like ah oh, that's that sucks but that's okay because i got one of my in my backpack got it out half full flint gone <laughs> right monk yeah so i found some matches so i've been using matches in the fire you know stick sticking it on <laughs> good thing we had those so that was another thing <laughs> I'm gonna watch a movie. What you doing, Monk? Laying here. Get out of here now. It is 3 o'clock. Yeah. Does that say 301? 301. Oh, shoot, man. Why did you put it on fire? You've been up the whole time, haven't you? Huh? You've been up the whole time, haven't you? No, I've been sleeping. Yeah, I know. I had to keep waking you up. I'm watching the movie. Because I had to do this again. Only, this is different now. I folded up a... Tablecloth. Tablecloth. And put up there because I had to close the door because... Monkey was cold because it's 50 degrees out, you know. It's, it's freezing <laughs> earlier. So... I had to come up with this and then the screen I was taking it down and it flipped and ripped a little bit on the corner didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So you've been having a fun time. Yeah so my knee you know I told you about my knee don't know what happened to it. Now I just walked around the back of the truck to go get Bruno some water and hit my right shin on the trailer hitch. Those things have hurt more people than firearms. Uh, I gotta get out. Saw a bear. Mike, have you seen bears in this area? Cause this is like the second one I've encountered since I've been down here in Florida. He was like right on the other side of that. And I was over here by the fire. There's where the fire pit is. Right there. So and I heard something walking. I thought maybe it was a deer, so I snuck over there and I seen the back of him. It was a bear. 
and so I stopped real quick and he kind of looked at me and then just went on about his way a little, little or one shut this off yeah this is where we got to put our stuff from back there up to here when we sleep back there so yeah fun 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 guys uh the moon is directly over my head now there are stars out but you know i don't know if you can see them or not But anyway, I think I might watch one more movie since it's only three. I try to be in, in asleep by five, but... <laughs> what the hell are you laughing at? <laughs> what? You try to go to sleep by five. I try to go to sleep by five. But it doesn't always work, no. Why am I out of focus? Yeah, whoever's playing that music down at the gate that way. Um, they just stopped just not not too long ago. So, all right. I might kick you on again. If not, I'll see you in the morning. Because we got to pack up and leave. Monkey said, we should stay another night. <laughs> and I'm like, I would, but we have to leave tomorrow. And if they change the gate code, and we're back in here and I have to call them. They'll be like, well, you were supposed to be out yesterday, which it would be tomorrow, but. Uh, so. <clears throat> but that's all right. Well, up, oh, felt a raindrop. That's weird. How can I feel a raindrop? There's not a cloud in the sky. It must be off of a tree. <clears throat> but yeah, so. Oh, see how my knee's doing Saturday and if it's better Saturday or Sunday we'll take a hike come on man. yeah turn around and smile at the camera <laughs> I am very out of focus here are you yeah and I'm, I'm on autofocus it's foggy out it's a little foggy out I ain't got nothing to do with my camera being out of focus but no it's not foggy at all I'll be back guys. Good morning everyone. Getting ready to pack up. Monkey's just getting some stuff organized there in the car. Got the car running for Bruno. He come outside. It's windy. It's chilly this morning, man. Come outside. Ran around for a few minutes and then he want to back in, so. Yep, so we're getting ready to head out. So, I'm gonna get toward now. We'll get packed up. I'm gonna take a ride up and I'll show you the other spot. Right up, it's kind of diagonal from here. And I'll show you the little creek. It actually runs right, right through here. Uh, let me show you this. This is pretty cool how this tree is. Isn't that cool? That's pretty neat, huh? Still alive. But yeah, uh, the creek runs right through here. We heard an airboat last night. And then it gets kind of like swampy right over in that area there. It's pretty neat. Monkey seen some big prints right up here. She thinks they're bear prints, pretty good size. They're too big to be a dog, so. Pretty neat. But we did see some wildlife. That's cool, this is a nice place. Very pretty back in here, so. Especially since it's not raining and sun's out. And another cursed thing. I uh, I forgot my drone twice. Because <laughs> I was going to put my drone up this morning. 
I forgot it again yesterday. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to get torn down. She's just getting organized now, so it's a little easier. And then I'll get that stupid spider thing. Instant pop-up stupid thing down here. It's nice. But it's a pain. How much? What? That thing. I said it's nice, but it's a pain. Yeah, but... It is nice. Yeah. You know, shade and rain. Yeah. It's handy, but... I it's... think I'd like to find something a little bit better, easier. Yeah, me that. too. Yeah. And then you get, saw that one. <laughs> it's just too hard. Oh, I couldn't even... I, I'd give it to somebody if we got another one, but I ain't selling that to somebody. It's horrible. Because I... You know me, I'm, t I'm too honest. I'd tell them. Look, man, this thing's a pain to set up. It's not bad tearing down, but it's not easy either. Because, uh -uh. like, like these things here, and what happens, this is the second time we've had it set up. Look, they start pulling out. I don't know what you're seeing there. That little silver thing, that's not supposed to be sticking out of there. And the one right diagonal from it's the same way, so... But, yeah, it's handy. It's just not handy to set up. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, I'll be back with you, and we'll show you the creek and that other camping area up in there. Okay, guys, so right across there's the other camp area. Um, this is a shortcut out of here in Monkey Found. I didn't know it existed. So we were just, like, right straight through there, mm -hmm. and we came up and then turned here instead of going out. And then on to this. This is like the main road. The creek's right down there. We'll go, but this is pretty cool. Let's see if it still works. Needs a seal, but yeah, it'll still work if it had a new seal in it. Yeah. Might just need prime. You pour water in there and prime it. There it goes. This is cool. It's not for drinking. Cool, huh? I don't think it's that old. It's not an antique, no. No. Yeah, you don't, this is like for horses and dishes and to wash nice. yourself. It's non-potable. Right See what the sign says. Yes, he's limping. Bruno, where are you going? He just escaped. Come on. Hey. Get up in there. Get in the back. No, get in the back. Daddy's in the back. <laughs> oh, I'm still recording. So here's the creek and the bridge. Um, it says no vehicles behind beyond this point. Um, we were up here on this bridge a few years ago when we hiked back in here. Didn't really hike, it was just more like a walk. We took a walk back in here. Okay, here's a vehicle bridge, and this this part is for the airboats to come up on. And I think if I can find it, I think I've got a video of a boat crossing here. We were standing up here, pointing that way, and so that's how the boats get around. We 
but yeah, this is where where we're gonna fish. So we were just right back in them trees there. That's so beautiful. Just right back in them trees. So where we were camping at. But yeah, I think I've got a video standing here with a bridge crossing, a oh, uh, boat crossing here. Yeah, you do. Did I YouTube it? I think you did. Yeah, well, I'll see if I can find it and put it up right now. See, it's just too low for any boats to get under. Yeah. Now you can't take a regular boat across there. No. Yep, here's a biker. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Now we'll show you the other campsite that's up here on the right. Good morning, how are you? I'm good. Good. Uh, but the other, like I said, is just right on top of the hill there to the right. Yeah, we're just over there. We kind of took a shortcut here. <clears throat> but yeah, we were camping right over there, Monk. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I heard that airboat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, bring me your water. And he says, yes. <laughs> she said, well, how come we don't see it? <laughs> Trees. <laughs> Trees. <laughs> She but can't see the forest for the trees. To it. I didn't even know it. I said, well, I, I told you that. I said, the creek's right over there. Oh, yeah. And then we hear an airboat. She's like, wow, that's close. I'm like, the creek's right over there. Yeah, it was. It sounded like you. See, right. you can go to the left yeah. or right, right up there. there. I'll show you. Very cool. So this goes right around her. Yeah, you can go to the left or right there. Yeah. Left or to the right kind of circles around the camp area. Heard a real weird noise over in here last night. Mm -hmm. I told her, I said, man, I hope it's on the other side of this creek. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a, it wasn't a howl, it wasn't a growl. <coughs> and it wasn't a, a coyote, we heard the coyotes. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what it was, but it was the weirdest, spookiest sound I ever heard in my Stop life. It and we're going to go to the other campground. Yeah. All right. We're going to go up uh, where we was just at, just right up here, just a few hundred feet. Can we drive over this? I don't know. That sign, there's a sign up there that says no vehicles beyond this point. So I don't, I'm sure they don't mean that way because you can't go there anyway. Uh -huh. So I'm guessing up through here. I don't know. Alright guys, I'll be right back. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Built ourselves a camper, that's awesome. So this is, and that brings you right out, down through there brings you right out by the bridge we was just at. Mm -hmm. The last time we walked up in here, that's about where that woman, she lives in her van. Remember? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's probably that noise we heard down there. Go around. Here. Go around here. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a mess. Mm -hmm. People stop there. Right? These are kids' toys around. Mm -hmm. And this is pretty. This was booked too. As you can see, there's only one person here. Mm -hmm. That's why we went over to the other area. They don't really say which, they, they don't say much about which area that you're going to be in. Like I said, I think we're going to huh? tent back there, weren't yeah. we? That one time we were talking about but coming those, here. 
but I was just going to tell them if they asked where my horse was, I was going to tell them we got 288 under the hood of this thing. <laughs> but that's cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Mm -hmm. And that's where we come out at, right across there. Yep. There's a porta potty right there, Mama. Yeah, they put a fence around it. For yeah, but she could have went there. Oh. Still quite a walk. Hi. Oops. We're running. Oh, what way you want to go? Did you hear? This way. Yeah. We've already been that way. What do you mean, what way? Did you hear him? Yeah. Woo! Can't hear nothing but that dog barking. Jesus, Bruno, stop. God. Nobody cares about you. And I'll just keep you rolling on the way out here. <laughs> he had to go. Yeah, he, he said, really Whoa. was running. Did you hear him? Woo! Yeah. <laughs> I was close. <laughs> yeah. We went in there, but there was a guy in there, so I couldn't film it because I was driving, so she already got it. So, but, yeah. There's not, there's just a few in there, not too many, but this is really pretty through here. See something? No, just filming, huh? Mm. Jeez. Anyways, that's it. We're on our way out. <clears throat> They have a check-in station up here for deer and turkey. Yeah. Turkey? Do they hunt turkey down here? Yeah. Wild turkey. Yeah. Wild. No, they hunt turkey in cages. Well, you never know. No, I do know. <laughs> all right, guys. So I'm gonna end it here, and um, because I showed you all this before, and let Shea Bear do his thing. But right in here is where. He we was going in and out to our camp, our campsite, right here. This little road there, but right back in there, that's where we were. So there's a couple different ways to go there. And we got the porter potty here, and this is the check-in station right here. Eagle. Got a map legend there. And then they got a can crusher there. Oh, yeah? Yeah, see it? Oh, yeah, cool. Fish cleaning station. And a place to wash your hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, yeah, turkey and deer check station. Mm -hmm. See the the boat winches. Yeah. That's what you hang your deer up on. Oh yeah. Yep. You just winch them right up on them. Hmm. And I'll show you the main gate. Yeah. It's just right over this little knoll. It's nice back in here. Hmm. Beautiful. Now on out this road a little bit what on is that thing? the let. What? Nothing in there. What? I'm filming. What? I don't know. I don't know what it is. What was I saying? On out here a little bit. On and to the left, there's hiking trails. That's part of Flying Eagle Preserve. <clears throat> All right, up here's the main gate. Which I gotta get the code. Here's the main gate. Here's the kiosk. Oh look! Horses! We got some go. horses here. People on the trail for horses. Here, I'll let you roll. Cool. I'll wait for them to go by because that's really neat. Now we get up here a little ways. It's not real far. 
I'll show you where like another it's part of Flying Eagle but it's where you can go in and walk around and stuff too trails and things like that didn't want Bruno spooking them horses mm -hmm. I don't know what's what's wrong with him but he's gonna have to start listening or he just can't come or something but can't have that you know and here's another place those signs there I think like like they close these places for hunting sometimes <clears throat> yeah managed hunts look at all them days they hunt which is cool you know I'm a hunter I haven't hunted in a while but since well since I've been down here but I mean that's you know you can't come out here and camp because the hunting thing but uh, but this I don't know if this is another no I don't see a blue lock so this there there must be trails up in here and also you can see the horse the horse prints there I'm betting that's where the horses came out they're probably riding through here so but yeah see there's trails up through here around in here I, I don't know what that creek is so this is where we're at right here and let's see we were camping right here but I don't see where the creek's at through here. But we were camping right in here. Yeah, right there on the E for equestrian, for the equine. So, so the, yeah, there's the creek right there. Another spot over here, I'm not sure where that is. Is number nine, but so I don't know. All right, so there it is Flying Eagle Preserve. Awesome. Yeah, do not block D. So, yeah. Maybe they open that up and let the hunters go back in there. But yeah, it's, it's it's nice back in here. And then all that over there is private property. Pretty cool, huh, Mont? Yeah, very nice. Yeah. All right, guys, so this is gonna be my outro. And thanks for watching, guys. appreciate it. Shea Bear the Myth, the Man, the Legend. Um, yeah. I mean, it's beautiful, but I still say it's cursed for me. What do you think? I'll come back. Cursed? I don't know. I said for me, what do you think? Maybe for you. Yeah, for me. <laughs> um, and then last night, you know, I, I think I mentioned it, hit my damn, my right, my right shin on, yeah, I did mention it, yeah. All right, guys. Yeah, sorry, I forgot the drone. I could have put the drone up. Got some beautiful footage, but forgot it two days in a row. <laughs> All right. Maybe we'll bring it out, whether we hike or not. Maybe we'll bring the drone out this weekend sometime and we'll say about your knee. put it up in the air. Well, I, I still fly my drone. That's what I'm saying. We can come out and put the drone up, right? I don't know. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. I'm gone for now. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Last one of the year. A couple weeks, we've got another one coming up, don't we? Well, not a camping trip, but we got an adventure, huh? Yeah. We're going to Fort Cooper, so. Which we're not. We're just a couple miles as the crow flies from there. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye and take care.